Hey guys, what's up? Rob Hip here. I'm actually on my way right now to pick up food to go. I'm in a BNI group for my radio station. But I wanted to share day number two of you in my day trading stock journey. Man, I'm going to tell you, the simulator, you've got to be in a simulator. I can only imagine what it's really like putting real hard-earned cash into the market. Uh, this morning, I dabbled around in the simulator. There was a stock. The ticker was W-A-T-T. -T. Had a lot of momentum overnight. Uh, extremely volatile stock. And then this morning, it shot up to over $4. I think I got in around the 380 and ended up selling it and I only made around 60 bucks but it was a green day at least in the simulator I will say this though I really have a ton to learn so if you're new to day trading like I am you've got to get into a simulator you've got to get into something to where you can test and the anxiety that I felt in the simulator was there but like I said, I can only imagine if I was actually trading my real hard-earned cash. Because yeah, I got 64 bucks today, which is great. But tomorrow I could easily lose that right back. So I've still got to learn a lot about strategies. Um, today I was really scalping. I really didn't know much about what I was doing. There's options in there when you buy and sell for the bid price, the ask price, a lot of the technical indicators. Those are all things that I've really got to learn and I'm working on doing that. So that's day two of my day trading journey. I'll keep you updated as much as possible as I go along. I'm doing this through Warrior Trading, uh, listening to Ross Cameron and his advice. Uh, but yeah, if you're new to day trading like I am, find a simulator and learn as much as you can and be active. I have a morning show that runs on the radio from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Central Time. The problem with that is the markets open up at 8.30 a.m. and Ross starts really talking about a, lot of, about a lot of what he is doing at 8 o'clock before the markets open. So by the time he's still going, my show is still going. So I'm actually thinking about scaling back my morning radio show an hour. So instead of it being from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m., I'm going to scale it back to 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. Central Time. That way I can be right there with Ross when he gets started. I can see what's happening because the market is the most volatile right at the beginning. And from his strategy and the way that he trades, which has been successful from what I've seen and what I've researched and what everyone in the chat room is talking about, uh, you need to be active there early when the market's open. You need to know, kind of have a watch list put together. Ross does that. I've been following that. Um, but anyways, that's day two. I'll keep you updated. Day three coming up. Uh, hopefully tomorrow. Appreciate you guys. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll keep you posted. Have a great day.